Hey everyone, good afternoon. It's me, Miss Gabby, uh, coming at you with another episode of Kept at Home in Gold Detroit. And today we are making spring paper plate flowers. Wow, it's kind of like a tongue twister, paper plate flowers. <laughs> um, but yeah, big shout out to College for Creative Studies and our sponsors, the Detroit Community Education Commission um, and General Motors. You can see in our description and like tag or see like that I tag them and check them out. Um, any other information or anything like that pretty cool you can also see our supply list and our instructions so if you're following along awesome I'm really excited let's just jump right in and we're gonna see what we need today so this is what we're making today is our spring paper plate flower um, I'm gonna show you different variations that we can do with this today even to kind of finish it off um, this is pretty nice and the gist of what we got going on today I'm really really excited because we can make so many of these and decorate give them as gifts it's gonna be very exciting so let us get started so today let me make sure we're gonna perfect okay so we're gonna need about four paper plates um, I got my four so you can kind of see there's like a light coating on this um, you know if there's one just like light as this um, or even one with no coating it's gonna work perfectly so um, we're gonna need about four to make one flower so we got four I got my watercolors right here I have um, my cup of water with um, some paper towel and I have two size brushes. Um, you can use one, uh, maybe like a larger one, just because we need to cover a lot of real estate today. Um, and I have my scissors, I got a pencil, and you can use a glue or a stapler for this. Um, you know, if you have white glue, perfect, stapler, even better, hot glue even, I forgot, I think, to write that in our supply list, but totally okay. Um, and two, you want to be working on top of something, so if you have a tablecloth or something else that's easily to clean, let us get started. So, um, you can see here I kind of used, uh, these, like, pinkish, oranges, reddish, um, <clears throat> And with like stripes of blue so you know you have free game and range to do anything that you want to create a flower so we're going to be creating our um, you know flower in stages pretty much in layers so let's just start with our bottom layer first so I'm gonna grab one of our paper plates and um, you know you can use normal color or normal paints but I'm using watercolor today I kind of like um, that uh, effect that we're gonna we have and stuff so maybe um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just decide on my color scheme so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some water on my paper plate to start off with and while I'm doing that I'm gonna think about maybe my color scheme that I want to do I you know since I'm doing some warmer toned uh, flowers so far maybe I'm gonna get and do some uh, cooler tones so maybe I'm gonna grab some blue paint um, and just go ahead and start so I'm gonna if you're using regular paint awesome um, you know with watercolor we just gotta kind of saturate our uh, paints with water so I'm gonna make a cool color so I'm going in with my water and dipping into my paint here really kind of going all around here and doing that um, and if you have watercolors, what's really awesome about them is, you know, that we can kind of uh, blend them together um, easily with our water right on our uh, paints here. So I'm just going to start moving them around, moving my plate around um, and start getting, I have two shades of blue in my palette. So, so you can see I have this nice like bright, bright blue and more of like a navy blue kind of thing going on. So just... I'm dipping it in and kind of trying to cover my entire plate and I don't mind that it's you know this watercolor I can make it um, you know a little bit more bold by having less water you can kind of see how I'm moving around so I'm covering my first plate here all the way because it's going to be our first layer so and you know brush it around move it around you can kind of see it's starting to dry a little um, but I'm gonna go ahead and maybe grab a little bit of this. I have some darker bluish green, kind of add some effect into that too. Cause I'm trying to think about how you see in my example, how it's going to lay, it's gonna end up. So I'm gonna let this dry. So yeah, now we can, um, you know, keep blending or keep moving or, um, you know let it off to the side to let it dry so like you know what's about, great about this is it is a nice little process so i'm going to put this off to the side to dry 
So that is our like outermost layer. So next we want to um, think about our next layer. Like I said, we're just going to be moving them a little bit smaller. So we have our outermost layer and here we're going to think about how we're going to paint them first. And if you don't want to paint them um, first, you know, you can go ahead and assemble it. Um, but then you can paint it after, but I think it's a little easier for us to paint beforehand. So now we're going to work on our second inner layer. So um, I'm not going to paint the entire um, entire paper plate just because I know that we, we won't need all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with maybe a different blue first. And you see, I'm not going to paint the outermost layer, but I'm going to kind of create fun little strokes. So that's what I really like about watercolors is like, you know, it's very kind of you know, that water-like effect and pastel -y, um, you know, look. So I'm going to kind of just use my hands. And I'm using my larger brush so I can cover more of my, my paper plate. So you can kind of see that I'm not going all the way. But it's okay if you kind of go all the way. That's up to you. You are the artist. Um, you know, and I'm going to just go ahead and maybe make some different strokes with another color. You can blend your colors to make a new color. That's what's amazing about paint. Um, and you know, I'm still going with my cool color um, tones here and maybe take my darker one and just create some dabs. What I love is it gives us like, you know, blue, like water effect too. And that's what's awesome about watercolors is it kind of bleeds all together. And once it ends up drying, oh, it's gonna look amazing. So. I'm done with that layer. I'm going to put this off to the side with my other one, let it dry, and I'm going to grab my next paper plates. So now um, we're going <clears throat> um, in a little bit more. We won't be needing the entire paper plate, so we can, you know, just utilize what we're going to, you, we can paint to, uh, you know, the only thing that we're going to utilize. So I'm just going a little bit smaller. I'm not going the whole way. Um, but it's up to you, you know, you can kind of go however you'd like, go how far. And maybe I'm going to create some different lines here to kind of give some variety to my layers. Uh, you see, I'm, and it's great, what's great about um, <laughs> a paper plate is you can just use that and spin it. So I kind of like how this is turning out, kind of like these zigzaggy brushes, brush strokes here. Um, and like I said, what I love about watercolor is it all like starts to blend together and bleed together. So, um, I'm not really dipping my brush in water, um, when I'm going back for my colors because like I kind of want it to be that like bold and saturated color. Kind of blend them a little more. I kind of washed my brush and dabbed it here just to get a cleaner brush but more water and kind of blend them a little bit more. But I kind of like how that's starting to look. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and let it dry with my other ones. And we're just gonna finish off here with my last layer. Um, maybe I'm gonna just kind of create a nice, I'm just gonna lay some water down first, but maybe very, very light, no, nothing too bold, but very light. Um, you know, layer here with nothing, not, not a lot of color, but maybe something, you know, nothing crazy. Just something very more pastel and watered down. But I want to kind of use all of the colors that I've been using just to keep that, you know, together. But maybe these swirls, you know, maybe if I'm thinking about a certain kind of flower that we want to create, right? Keep that. But there we go. I'm going to just let that dry. Put that off to the side. So now let me show you all of the colors. We have all of my layers here. So they're actually kind of already starting to dry and looking really amazing. Um, so I'm just going to let these uh, off to the to the side and let them dry. You know, because we want to work with a dry um, project. <laughs> so once they are dry, I you know, I already made our awesome other another layers couple layers here you can see i'm going to close my watercolors put those off to the side because we don't necessarily need these anymore so here we have i have already four of my dry layers so you can see here so let us cut them up let's let's get us going let's start to assemble our flower so i'm going to start with our outermost layer so i'm going to put these to the side right now 
So I'm going to start with my outermost layer. So I want to cut these and trim them down into petals, but I don't want to take them too far because, um, you know, I want to still use this entire plate just because it is going to be our outermost layer. So I'm starting to shape these into petals. Um, right now, I'm kind of going to see how really maybe I kind of want them. Um, so I'm kind of shaping the petals so far like this. And here we end there. So, you know, I got kind of what I a feel for how I wanted them to look. And maybe these aren't, um, you know, as petal-like as we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these and bring them down and around so kind of creating these petal like shapes on our outermost layer and if you want to you can bring them down a little more um, and really kind of start to shape them out you know because we want that flower feel and we want to remember that we are going to make them a little 3d so kind of create those petals by cutting them in here and following the line of a petal, the shape. You know, and you can, it's not a big deal to go ahead and trim them down a little. If it's kind of not turning out the way that you like, you know, really kind of, you know, that's your, your idea. And you are the artist. So I'm just kind of trimming them down and letting them go. So here's our first layer. So I'm going to put this off to the side. So I have all these scraps and um, it's really important for us to make sure that we're going to throw away them properly right into the to the garbage can. So next let's grab our um, second most outer layer. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to just go ahead and trim this off right away. You know, the white part that we didn't paint because, you know, we need it to create that layered effect of the flower. And put that off to the side so you know you can start by going and creating your petals this way like this so there are a few techniques that we can use to create our petals so you know right now we have our template for our petals so you can kind of like on the first one how i started do that for sure or we can kind of create them so far and then just go ahead and trim them down like this so there are a few ways that we are able to create our petals and however it works and feels for you, you know, you can do that. And what's awesome is it's not going to be perfect and every flower is going to be unique and that's what I really, really enjoy about this project. Um, you know, because if I'm going to give them out as gifts um, or, you know, kind of use them as decorations anywhere on my walls. Um, none of them are going to be the same, which I really, really like. So I'm just kind of taking my time, seeing how I'm shaping them to be, um, you know, a little rounded. Um, if I'm going too much or too little, you know, seeing how I want to kind of keep them all a little uniform, but it's okay if they're not. So I'm going to just pull this one off. This one might be a little big. So there's my second layer. There we go. Voila. You can see that it's starting to take its flowery shape. Um, and I have my scraps. I'm going to put them off right to the side because at the end I'm going to just toss them. So here's our next layer and I'm going to trim off the white. The ones that we don't need already. put off to the side we're gonna throw that away and here I'm gonna start that same way I did just on the last one to create our petals so I'm just making sure I'm not cutting them into one another but here I'm going to go ahead and start and just make my petal shapes so you see I'm just kind of taking it with my non-dominant hand and shaping them out and right now I'm not worrying about them being too perfect just because I want to kind of get the shape. Um, and here we go. So that actually looks really cool. I like that these are different and <laughs> kind of like 
uh, really more abstract petals, but I'm gonna go ahead and just shape them a little better here. And I'm going and taking them around, making them a little bit more rounded. Um, it's kind of funny how they took their own shape after. And I always come out with a really small guy, but that's okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top and see how that looks. Put those off to the side so we can throw that away after. And now this is our last layer. And I'm going to, this one is a little, I didn't cover this one as much with all the paint, so that's okay. I'm just taking it and just following the circle and cutting it down, voila. So this one, maybe I'll make them a little longer or a little larger petals. Um, you know, it's kind of how you wanna see or envision your flower. So I'm gonna just trim that down. Yeah, so there's gonna be a little bit more white in these and that's okay, I don't mind that at all. Um, and just going ahead and trimming them down. So this one is only gonna have four petals and that's all right, because it's like my innermost layer. My innermost flower petals. That's okay. I really like how this one came out with more white in it than uh, a little bit more white than color. So, and voila. So here I have them all on top of one another. Um, and this is what it's gonna like. So you can kind of, you know, arrange them, maybe see, oh, maybe I should trim this one down. It's kind of a lot bigger than the other ones, um, which, you know, that's okay too. Um, but that's like, this is a part where you can see like how all of this is going to end up. So um, here we can glue if you have white glue, you know, you can definitely put the glue there to um, start to, to adhere them together and to keep the layers from really moving. I'm gonna kind of place them in this way. And then what I'm gonna do just for time, I'm just so it doesn't have to take forever to dry, is I'm gonna just take my stapler and staple them together. So here I have it. And if you have a stapler, awesome. You can see how that worked really well. Um, and next we wanna kind of create the like 3D effect. So we're gonna take our pencil and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my petal here and just kind of wrap it together and lay that out. So you can kind of see we're just kind of creating that 3D effect. So two, um, and if you wanna go ahead and paint the back side of your paper plate, um, you know, so there's not that much white showing and it's kind of more consistent, that's uh, up to you and you can definitely do that as well. So you can kind of see how it's starting to take its shape. So what I'm doing is just taking, um, you know, my petal around my pencil and wrapping it to create that little effect. So like here, it's gonna do the same and here as well. And just going down the line, creating that awesome shape really kind of getting that to pop out at you. So this is a great example of something that you can make a bunch of and then like decorate your wall or give to somebody else, a good friend, maybe a family member, um, something super cute, you know, and what's awesome is you can definitely make that, you know, to col like to color it to match, um, you know, your, your room or maybe your living room or your kitchen. Um, you know, to add like pops of color into something, which is amazing. And that's what I love too, is like I can, you know, have all these warm color and now I have my cool colored one I just made that I'm gonna let dry and finish off so I can add that together. Make like a nice little bouquet of flowers, which I am super excited about. This looks so great. So yeah, so you can see like how my petals are starting to form and that there is quite a bit of white showing and you know, that's up to you. Like I said, if you want to paint the back sides, you know, I kind of like how it adds like that white to it. You know, it's a nice little break of color. 
um, but that's up to you. And if you have any other like decorative things, you can add into the middle of your flower, um, you know, to hide like that staple. Like here, it's kind of not noticeable in this one, but look at that, amazing. These look so great together or singled out or together. I love it. So there you have it. Use in four paper plates to make your spring flower and staple them together. Amazing. And so now um, is our time for cleanup. So I have all my scraps here. I'm gonna put them like on my page here or on my little workstation. I'm gonna put away my scissors and everything, um, but I'm gonna just put everything together so I can throw away right into the garbage. And if you have any paint or anything splashed around, definitely wipe that up with like wipes or paper towel. Um, it's very important to kind of um, clean up and to start or to finish how we started. So um, I'm gonna just take this paper towel and go ahead and wipe that up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brushes with soap and water and definitely clean out my paint cup. But this is one I always use, so I'm gonna definitely do that. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed making these paper plate spring flowers. Um, and if you definitely made them with me today, I would love to see what you created and what kind of flowers you ended up making. And you can, you know, leave them in the comment here on our Instagram, even uh, comment on our YouTube. Um, or you can email us your, your flowers, a picture of your flowers. We would love to see. But thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Miss Gabby, and stay tuned for tomorrow um, to hang out with Miss Fan. Um, and definitely check out our archives of all of our other awesome free art tutorials that we have. Um, and yeah, so check back with us. And thank you. Have a great day.